Let's see if I can close up on this. You know, has decided to... Come on, I'm trying to... Okay. Um, this won't work at all. Um, I gotta... Um, answer the questions... What the heck? The Amazing Atheist and some other people. Um, uh um... And now, and now it's refreshing. Seriously, PZ, um... The whole layout of your blog is just atrocious. Um, anyway. It's, um... Sargon of Cod, Undoomed, Armored Skeptic, Atheism is Unstoppable, Cryon T. Chris Raygun, Anthony Fantota, Mr. Repsion, Cult of Dusty, and The Amazing Atheist. Nice list of YouTubers to ignore for forevermore. And ha they have 27 questions by group of men that white men can sit. Basically, they ask some white questions for, uh, questions for social justice warriors. So let's read them. Why do you think it's okay to speak for LGBT people, women, and ethnic minorities? But when LGBT people, women, and ethnic minorities disagree with you, you harass them. Disagreement is not harassment. Okay, I actually agree with that. Persisting and persisting someone when they ask you to stop is harassment, like I've seen social justice warriors do. These guys don't usually don't comprehend that. Oh, 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 epic, epic wreckage right here. Do you realize your war on language through political correctness has made you bedfellows with true rape culture? In other words, Islam, the world's most misogynistic ideology. I'm way too busy. I'm too busy waging a war on Christmas to have a war on language. Both, but each of these are as, fix bleh, are as fictional as the other. Um, the only difference is war on Christmas is actually used literally undoomed as saying war on language metaphorically. Islam, Christianity, and Judaism are all dis rather disgustingly misogynist. I oppose most strongly that one affects me at the most, but it doesn't mean I think the others are hunky-dory. Okay, there's something I noticed that he does, like, he does it every now and then, but it bothers me. He's like, well, I don't agree with it, okay? But we're not asking those specifically to you, we're asking those to people in general. Do you want women to be equal or protected class? You can't have both. If you expect society to, tr to be treated equal, to treat women as equal as men, why don't women have to take responsibility for their own safety? They do already. The question should be about why men don't have to take responsibility for their aggression and violence. Um, I, I was gonna Google, is, you know, domestic abuse illegal? Like, I jokingly did when I Googled, you know, is Obama black? In one of my videos, to like the Black Business School, um, but that's not even worth googling. What are you afraid will happen when you leave your safe space? The same crap that happens every day. Why do you resent the fact that some people are like a sanctuary where they don't have to listen to tedious buttles like you? Well, it's not so much that they don't have to. They already don't have to listen to us. Just don't click on our videos. You know, block us. The block button is there for a reason. I'll disagree with you blocking me, but I respect your right to do so. Okay? Okay. How can you possibly justify the idea that it's somehow racist to disagree with Black Lives Matter, and yet it's not racist when a black person tweets, kill all white people? Are you seriously equating the Black Lives Matter movement with violent threats to kill all white people? No, we're equating it with violence. Yes, because that's what Black Lives Matter has done. Because they're not the same. Um, the ideas are different, but the way that people act are very similar. Are you aware that the present is not the past? Are you familiar with the concept of linear time? Because you seem incredibly comfortable traveling back through time and talking about how bad things were for women or black people or whoever. And then, by using some form of SJW magic, you then claim that applies to those problems who, in the past, who exist today. Are you aware that this trick you're doing is not working? Why do you think that works? That would work? Are you aware that your sincerely stupidity makes you look like an idiot or condescending stupidity? Um, oh, you, you wrecked him. You, you wrecked him hard, PZ. They should call you, um, R-E-K-T-Z, because you just wrecked him so hard. Those words are spoken by a cartoon kangaroo, by the way. Um, no, they're spoken by someone who's using a cartoon kangaroo as an avatar, and even then, why does it matter? You know, if you were black, I don't know if you are black, but if you were and I was saying these words are coming out of black guy, that would be racist, or that would at least be stupid to point out. 
Why do you think that you can spend your entire life in a state of, of perpetual emotional immaturity? Do you think, do you imagine that you'll actually be able to stretch out your adolescence for your entire existence? Someone in a group of pompous, privileged dude bros actually asked that question. And how is it wrong? How, how does that make it wrong? You know, even if a racist asks, brought up a good point, it doesn't matter he's a racist, his point's what matters. Did you know there are, 50, there are 13 more women in college than men right now? So if the whole goal of feminism is equality, shouldn't we have some men-only scholarships in order to equal everything out? Um, there are scholars. Okay, that is a good point there. I assure you we educate as are aware of this, but you know what? Okay, I'll give him this. This is an okay point. If feminism and egalitarianism are both about equal rights, then why does one start with a gendered prefix while the other is entirely gender neutral? If medicine is all about making people well, why do doctors specialize in, say, argology or even gynecology? Um, there's a difference there because with doctors, you go for one for a specific reason. In the same way, you know, you don't go to a gynecologist and he ought to talk about your fingers. You go to just a general doctor for that. That's why general doctors, you go for, for like checkups and stuff like that, exist. You know? What do you hope to gain by bringing back racial segregation? We don't. Epic wreckage! When my granduncle was dropping bombs on London, did your grandpas get out of their bunkers and warning and protest with signs that read, Not all Nazis? Did you know that there were anti-German riots in the UK? Let's just lash out and burn down businesses of everyone named Mir, even if their family has been living here for generations. Or how about those Japanese internments in the US? When did Croton T ever say he was for any of that? The problem is rarely that citizens are overly zealous in recognizing diversity, but more that we tend to lump people together unfairly. I grew up in the Pacific Northwest, where the failure to appreciate, to, uh, to, I don't know, apply that not all Japs American hating traders left deep scars. Um, okay, but the thing is, you know, when you're making a general statement about someone and then someone says, not all people are like that, no one's saying not all people are like Also, I love this one. Why do you think that every cis white male is born racist? Racism is a learned behavior, and you have learned it well. Oh! Oh, oh, epic wreckage, P.Z. Myers. Yeah. No one thinks that, by the way. Uh, how do you know? Have you met every single person who uh, Z P Z Myers has met every single person who has existed, who does exist, and who will exist, and knows that no one ever thinks that? How can you possibly say the phrase "All lives matter" is somehow racist? It sounds like something that the Dalai Lama would say. Saying "All lives matter" is not racist. Trying to deny the reality of racism arguments against minorities by downing out their specific concerns with platitude is. Isn't that what Black Lives Matter does? They down specific concerns with Um, The thing is, by saying all lives matter, we are saying, you know, we don't care that you're black. We don't care, you know, that, that you're a black person. We just think your life matters. Black Lives Matter is saying, well, you're black and that's the first thing I notice about you. Would you rather be right or popular? It seems like your primary objective is to sk score social points and public validation. You seem to speak publicly in the same way that people write their dating profiles. Stop trying to demonstrate how awesome you are and get real. Wait, this one is said by a kind, of, by some kind of animal dressed in a baraka. I don't know if that's actually how you pronounce it. In front of a video of a black woman lifting weights, I was distracted by the overwhelming irrelevancy of the whole thing. Why does any of this matter? How does that debunk Rue's point? But no, injustices exist. Trying to write them as race, purpose, and then social points. Um, I actually do agree with it. So, if a drunk man sleeps with a drunk woman, the woman is incapable of giving consent, but the man is. Nope. Um, so... 
This has been yet another edition of Simple Answer to a Stupid Question. Gotta love the lack of nuance here. You know, because I have actually seen people say, you know, drunk sex is rape when it isn't. Well, no, it's sort of, well, no, it's, it's a complicated, I might go through it in another video. But to make it short, more people are saying this than you think. Is it really easier to spend all your life attempting to pacify the world and subdue all around you instead of accepting that you are the person who has to change? Okay, you win. So we're going to give up the atheism thing and just accept this all now. Okay, I'll give PZ Myers this. That was actually pretty funny. When I sing along to rap music, okay, if I say the word, I'm not saying that. Why do white people desperately want to say the word, I'm, I'm not saying that. It's just weird. I don't. I just said I wouldn't. Um, but the whole reason why is... Well, partly because black people say it all the frickin' time. Why can't we? Uh, wait, for segregation reasons, isn't it? How do you recoil your opinion that gender doesn't matter or even exist with your need to offend new genders each day? I don't. Gender matters a lot in individuals. It's the basis for a great idea of playing, of applying demonstration. Who's denying it? Not anyone on my side. Isn't the whole idea of feminism that gender doesn't matter, though? I, I mean, you know, if the whole idea of feminism that everyone gets equal rights, rights that applies that gender doesn't matter. So you saying that gender does matter basically implies that you think that not everyone deserves equal rights. In your version of equality, will, right men, will white men ever have a voice in society, or will white men always be too privileged to participate in the discussion? Says a guy in a public video made by entirely white men complaining about society. And you're the guy who's saying you're wrong, because you just said that he's wrong because he's a white man. What makes you think the power of censorship that you're so try that you're desperately trying to establish now will at no point be used against you? Saying that I don't want to listen to you is not censorship. I actually agree with that. Um, one of your problems is that you demand that everyone must pay attention to you while you shout down everyone else. Have you ever actually tried engaging with a discussion with any of these people? Because, you know, I've actually seen people discuss things with the Amazing Apes. Like, go watch the Drunken Peasants with people, you know, like the Vigilant Christian when they were on Drunken Peasant. You know, with Paul, TJ, and Scotty. Or was it Scotty or... Ba I forget which one. But, you know, they were basically very nice to the Vigilant Christian. They weren't insulting him. They weren't doing anything of that. Well, no, they weren't insulting him, but they weren't, like, shouting over him or anything. They were just, you know, talking about what his opinions... It was that much. Nothing more, nothing less. Why is it that if a woman dressed sexy or even topless in public, you support it? But if a female video game character is dressed sexy, you want to dress more modestly. If a woman chooses to dress however she wants, that is her right. When other people decide that the majority of representations of women in media will always be sexy, that is wrong. Yep, let's go back to the 1950s where, you know, women and black people had all of those rights that they didn't have. You do realize that video games aren't voluntary agents, right? What is your favorite song to sing really loud when you're confronted with a different viewpoint? Four Free to Free by John Cage. Um, wrong. The correct answer is always Piano Man by Billy Joel, even when it's not. Why are you afraid of dissenting opinions? Uh, your continuous attempt to silence all opposition, either by smearing them publicly or labeling their content as hate speech and having it removed, only serves to incinerate your bubble and even more maintain your echo chamber. It also prevents you from taking in new information or hearing different points of view, different points of view that are sometimes superior to yours, which happens whenever I talk. Nah, sorry, your point of view is common as mud and not particularly interesting. Oh, epic, epic, epic wreckage, you know, PZ Myers. No, you're not epically wrecking them. Sorry. By the way, you seem to have confused afraid with extremely bored. Or excruciatingly bored. Okay, I'll, I'll give PZ Myers this. He is actually, you know, a funny guy. You know, I imagine that if I knew him in real life, I could laugh. I, I could laugh with him. 
what is reverse racism? Like, what the actual frick is it? It's just racism, right? Do you even know that reverse racism is not a concept supported by us SJWs, but rather an excuse for resentment against police or forms of action promoted by people like you? Um... No, go watch, you know, the Internet Aristocrat did a video on cultural appropriation. You can find mirrors of it. There were tons of people saying, reverse racism, reverse racism, reverse racism. What the heck are you talking about? Do any of you people remember all the pronouns? You know the list, right? The one with 76 freaking genders. Do you remember all the names we'll use for each other? There are millions of them. John, Jane, Peter, Elizabeth, Fred, William, etc. How do you keep them straight? It's gotten to the point where I see some stranger on the street and I don't know what they're called. I have to ask them. It's horrific. Okay, that's actually a valid point. I'll give them that. Um, why do you feel entitled to control what artists and entertainers are allowed to express? Why do you feel your sensibility should be placed above the sensibilities of actual art creators? Who has control over what artists express? Not me. Yeah, but you've been trying to control them. Like, I've said in the past, and, you know, I've said in this video, I'm not against, you know, people blocking other people. But when you try and get someone removed, like when, you know, people try to get Milo removed and succeeded. Again, I'm not a fan of Milo. I think he's a horrible person. I don't like his stuff. I think he tries way too hard to pander to the worst part of the red pill crowd, all that stuff. But, you know... He has the right to say it, and he got removed from Twitter, which, in my opinion, should be public, and, you know, you should have the right to say anything. Because people wanted to control what he was expressing. Do these privileged jerks feel entitled to control our expression? No. Of disgust at the racism and sexism they represent? Yes. Do they somehow think they're privileged to be creators while others are not? Yes. A creator is someone creating something. You know, TJ, throughout this entire video, has the right to say what he wants because he's creating it. PZ Myers, you have the right to say all of this. I And, you know, I'm responding to you, but I'm never going to try to, you know, take you down or anything. Have you ever considered using the terms racism and sexism as haphazardly as you do to describe everything under the sun? Makes you f that makes you feel uncomfortable. It devalues the word to the point where it actually hurts the people who act who actually suffer from real racism and sexism. Have you ever thick and freaking thought of that? This is accumulating questions of a video of a bunch of white men ranting about what makes them feel uncomfortable. Okay, how does that prove them wrong? There is, however, one final shot where one of the white guys suggests that the SJWs ought to drink bleach. I thought the joke was that he was doing it to numb himself or something. Or to get him to throw up or, you know, as a suicide act or something. I, I didn't think the joke was about, you know, him telling all the social justice warriors to drink bleach. Again, if you want to read a reply to take these clowns, go see Martin Hughes. Oh, God, that, that guy sounds familiar. You know, who is he? Oh, God, it's Pathios. Um, I might take now Martin Hughes another day, but overall... PZ Myers had a few valid points and made a few funny jokes. But besides, I love his point, kind of nonsensical, didn't, you know, he didn't think much of it out, and it just wasn't all that good. That's really it. I'm Sifro Joe, and I'm signing out. Um, and PZ, if you want to respond to this, respond to this, I'll gladly let you. You know, I won't try and block you, I won't do anything, just let me know, I'll t and you know, you can post your reply to this on your blog, I don't care, well, I might talk about but still, that's really it. Um, it's not letting me end the video. Um, I don't know what I, I'm just gonna X out of this and hope that that stops the recording. See you all.